Hello everyone and welcome back to the Talos Principle 2. Thank you so much for joining me today, really do appreciate it. This is our goal for today, we're going into this tower. Uh, so to do that we need to go across this bridge. I've done all puzzles in this area um, and we need to just do the last little bit of uh, puzzle to get across this bridge here. So let's go straight to it, let's have a look at what we are doing here. Let's try going for We'll try this. And, uh, oh, this doesn't look right, does it? That is not going to connect across, so let's go back. I say we start again from the beginning here. Let's go for... This is an odd one, it's just... Okay, that might just work. Oh no, not that one. Uh, let's change there. Yes, there we go. We're across. Right, so we have this elevator here. It's going to take us up. Uh, who are we going to speak to today? Pandora, maybe? There is the Sphinx again. Prometheus was bound for many years, his torment seemingly eternal. Until one day, Zeus commanded his son, the great hero Heracles, to free the Titan from the rock. Why did Zeus relent? Uh, Zeus knew that his son needed Prometheus' help because he recognized that he had been wrong because no one's punishment should be eternal. Um, I, I don't know the uh, um, the myth that we're, we're talking about here. Um, but I mean, I think this last one, I don't think anyone's punishment should be... Oh, is that true though? Some crimes are really bad. I don't know what, what was Prometheus' crime. Helping humans, give, giving humans something, was it? Did he give them a fire? Was that what it was? I forget what the um, what the story is now. Um, but let's say that no one's punishment should be eternal. If the consequences of a crime are eternal, should the punishment not be of equal length? There is grief without end, creature of clay, and misery without relief. How can these things be forgiven? Sphinx sounds tormented. The time of dreams is at hand. To save your friend, you must do as Heracles did. But what will follow, none can see. Yeah, I mean, maybe I'm wrong there. Maybe there are some crimes that are so severe that the punishment should never end. It's difficult. You have the whole kind of punishment versus well, rehabilitation the mega structure is opening again all right everyone assemble at the VTOL as soon as possible Melville keep an eye on the energy readings please all right so then we are going back to the mega structure are we going to be able to rescue Byron this time I certainly hope we can okay yeah so everything is done in this area Let's move on. Yeah, at some point in the future we'll get back to all these different areas and we'll look for any things that we've missed. We've definitely missed some things. Um, right, so we can go back to the middle here. So yeah, so basically the grey boxes are the ones that we haven't done yet. So um, all of the lost puzzles need to be done. And then I think in doing the lost puzzles that then opens up the, the golden gates in each area as well. So we need to do those. And then as far as stars go... Yeah, we've got one there, we've got both of those ones, got two, two in that area, two in that area, we haven't done too very well there, we've got one there, uh, both of those ones, the current area, we haven't got either of them, oh that's right, oh should I, now we'll move on to the next structure, we'll, we'll come back for stars in the future episode, we've got one there, and two in that area, so there's still loads more to go, and then, so we're going to go back to the next structure, more plot is going to happen, and then we've got these three areas in the west to do as well. Well, it's exciting, but we're definitely getting there. I'm you really looking forward to this. I don't share Byron's enthusiasm for the megastructure. I don't know if the founder really intended for us to be here, and I certainly don't trust this Prometheus entity. But Byron is one of us, and we don't leave people behind. So we're finding Prometheus and freeing him whether Pandora likes it or not. 
I'm with you. this mission is going to go. 1K, it's clear to me that you have some kind of special affinity for this place. And that the entities respond to you more strongly than they do to us. So, once you're inside, I want you to take point. Do whatever you need to free Prometheus, but remember that our prime objective is to save our friend. Melville, I want you to stay at the VTOL and let Yakut and 1K go in. I'm going to stay behind as protocol requires. I don't love the idea of sitting this one out. Byron is my oldest friend, but we're doing this by the book. Okay, yep, I've got your back. We're going to do this. Let's go. There it is. So I'm um, we've been in that side, we've been in that side, so I'm thinking we're going over this direction. Okay. Bring it on. Alright, I'm taking us in. Let's hope we can find the big guy. It just seems like the size of these things is just far more than they needed to build. You know, New Jerusalem here is desperate for resources and this seems to be using far more resources than is necessary. But then they're saying that the technology here is just generating a hell of a lot of energy, far more than they need. So, I don't know, I don't know what to think about it. It's very dark in here again. Okay, explore the area. Okay, so Melville, this is Melville, so she's gonna stay behind. And uh, Yakut and me, we're going in. All right, what are we gonna find in this section? It's all very imposing. Okay, so there's a door over there. What is this over here? Okay, so this goes on. Okay, we'll look at that in a moment. That looks like that's going deeper in. These are cute. So what have we got on this side? Okay, palm reader. Yep, let's go for this one first. Then we'll just have a quick look around just before we do that, in case there's anything else here. There's just so many like passageways and things. They just, it just seems like it's so unnecessary to have all this structure here. But they felt, you know, um, the founder, Miranda, maybe Cornelius, they found it necessary to build this. Okay, let's see what these are all about. Uh, from uh, Eustathius, dearest Athena, I don't know if you will still will see this. You have become even more distant from the affairs of New Jerusalem than I have. Uh, but something miss speaking to you and Cornelius, I fear that some of your estrangement is my own fault. I know things are not as you would wish them to be, and the city is drifting away from that bold vision you established. This is not because of your leadership or lack thereof. You did not fail, I did. I know that I've said it before, but the new Alexandria disaster was my fault. I am the one who took the initiative, and I am the one who made the mistake. Yes, there should have been procedures in place, but it was my role to create such procedures, Athena, not yours. I wish I had listened to Byron when he said we had to establish another settlement immediately. Learn from the pain, don't let it fester. He was right. That's where the rot set in, and I'm sorry. With love, Eustathius. Okay, I forget what number Eustathius is, how, how old they were. I think they were quite old, if I remember rightly. Um, but yeah, so it was highlighting the fact that um, Athena was getting very distant from New Jerusalem. We, we kind of found that out a bit last time. Okay, we don't know who wrote this one. Um, the Machines, from the author's note to Athena Reborn, a novel. 
If my work has meant something to you, if Athena had any kind of impact on you, if some story and wonder tales from the periphery moved you or made you think, then there is something about myself that I need to share with you. It's the only autobiographical fact I have any interest in sharing, the only thing about me that matters to you outside my work. Every breath that I take, and so every story that I write, is only possible because of technology. There are no natural remedies, no spiritual alternatives for what I was born with. My existence is wholly cognizant upon a level of technological sophistication which was herefore unimaginable and which will in many ways define the coming era. When you long for a return to simpler times, you wish for a world in which I could not exist. If you are looking for answers, consider the fact that I was granted the blessing of this technology despite being born into poverty and my writing never have been particularly lucrative. The civilizational structures I live with were arranged in such a way that this technology would be deployed to save my life. Uh, and, these, uh, and are these structures not also, at the end of the day, a kind of machine? What is the state, what is the civilization, if not a machine? Think about what this means, uh, what this is. Is this systemic compassion? Is it liberation from nature? Is it equality of opportunity? Whatever your belief system, think hard about what it means that I am alive because of these machines and I've created something that matters to you. Thank you for reading. So we don't know exactly what that condition was. It doesn't really say. Have we read anything about this before? I don't remember. Um, yeah, so a lot of times people would say, oh, wish for the good old days. But that does mean, yeah, that there are certain more modern things that mean that certain, you know, people like this who obviously have some kind of illness or disability that would normally be fatal if it wasn't for modern technology. Okay, clock work. Clock work. Exerted from orthodoxy by G.K. Chesterton. All the towering materialism which dominates the modern mind rests ultimately upon one assumption, a false assumption. It is supposed that if a thing goes on repeating itself, it is probably dead. A piece of clockwork. People feel that if the universe was personal, it would vary. If the sun were alive, it would dance. This is a fallacy even in relation to, to known fact, for the variation in human affairs is generally brought into them, not by life but by death, by the dying down or breaking off of their strength or desire. A man varies his movements because of some slight element of failure or fatigue. But perhaps God is strong enough to exult in mon monotony. Is it possible that God says every, every morning, do it again to the sun, and every evening, do it again to the moon? It may not be automatic necessity that makes all daisies alike. It may be that God makes every daisy separately, but has never got tired of making them. And may be that he has the eternal appetite of infancy, for we have sinned and grown old. Our father is younger than we. Miranda. It's strange. The idea is delightful, but it's also completely and obviously untrue. Cornelius. That's one of the many reasons Chesterton is worth reading. He is wrong about a lot of things, but he's wrong about them in an interesting way. <laughs> that's, an, that's an interesting point. Miranda, it's such a shame though. He seems to want to restore the, the magic of the world, but he can only re-enchant the surface, whereas the true magic, the perfect beauty that feels like revelation, is found underneath in what he dismisses as clockwork. Yeah, there is a, um, a wonder to behold of, of nature just working for itself. There's, there's just no need for this creator to, to to make things work. Things just just work. It's just how it is. Okay, from Hypatia's Journals, Volume 1, Founding of New Jerusalem. Day 680. New Jerusalem. That's the name we picked. Am I sad that my suggestion didn't win? Maybe a little, but it's a good name. A fitting name. A name that we can be proud of. With it comes a new kind of optimism. Everyone is thinking of the future once more. I, for one, am glad that we have recovered our equilibrium and our determination. Athena and Cornelius are certainly bustling with plans and bright visions of the future, and when they tell us of these dreams of theirs, it's hard not to be drawn in by the pretty pictures they paint. Speaking of which, I am becoming more and more fascinated with ancient human art, and thinking about our own role in taking the next step in that long history. Citizens of Gehenna found meaning in art, and they were imprisoned. A free people should be able to accomplish so much more. Okay, some lovely thought-provoking uh, readings there, but it is time to move on. So yeah, there was a door here, so scanning the door, if you found anything interesting about this? Oh no, it's not a door. 
was an elevator. Oh, I can't get in. It's got glass there. Okay, so I guess I have to unlock that then. So to unlock that, I guess we need to go this way. So we've got more physics breaking apparatus here. Things just kind of floating around. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's anything around there. Right, there is a oh another elevator. Can we get in? We can get in this one. Okay, let's take this down. Yay! I found another elevator. <laughs> he sounds so My excited. Favorite. Yeah. Why doesn't he like elevators? I can't remember. Was it something at the beginning? Was he stuck in one or something? I remember someone being stuck in one at the beginning of the Once game. Once again, I, I have no idea where I am. No sign of Prometheus so far. Hope you're doing better, 1K. Well, let's see. This this opens up into a massive expanse. Look at this. Some big old donut coil things there. Okay, I feel like this is going to take us somewhere important. Oh, where is it? Yeah, we're going to see Prometheus here, I, I bet. I know I've said this before, but look at the size of this. Yeah. How can all of this be one machine? This is what you get when one machine builds a bigger machine, which builds an even bigger machine. That's our whole history, isn't it? The whole history of humankind. And it's not just machines. It's science, it's literature. Knowledge builds on knowledge. Yeah, I guess that, that's how things work. But look at these things. Are these kind of Tesla coils or something? Is this what's generating the, the massive amounts of energy this, this place is producing? It's not, I was going to say, it could be like nuclear because you've got like the um, the pools down there which could be the uh, the cooling tanks, but it's not nuclear energy, it's something beyond physics that we understand it as, as they've been saying. Have a little look around the back here. Oh, it just goes on. Oh, that's this. It's just a visual treat, this place, it really is. This, this entire entire game is just beautiful to look at. Oh, we're going deep. That was a long way down. Oh, here he is. Oh, wow. Right, we need to free him. I Be suppose. careful, 1K. We don't know what's down there. I can see there's there's a bridge puzzle there and there. Oh, that's imposing. Look at it. So I guess we need to maybe go over to where all the chains are, and maybe there'll be some kind of puzzle to break the chains. This looks like a machine. So it's gonna. So look here. Pull the lever. Remove Prometheus chain pins. Okay, yeah, so we can't do anything at the moment. We need to remove the pins then. That's what I thought. Right, well, let's see if we can get across then. Uh, I guess we need to go over to the middle. It's just bottomless. Let's not go down there. Right, we'll start over in this direction. Uh, this doesn't seem right at all. Let's move back. Got a lot of straight pieces here. Let's take these. Um, okay, let's not. Let's go for this one. Does that make, it doesn't make any difference which way around we put that. Uh, let's try... This one. That one. Yes, there we go. Okay, we're across. Let's go over here then. Let's go see if we can find a way to the first pin. Well, it looks like we might have another bridge puzzle though. 
happening here? Where, where, oh. Okay, don't know what that is. Right, another one to do. Okay. Okay, that's not right. There we go. So there wasn't much, much options there. What's going on here? Okay, they're very fond of these these puzzles. Okay, it's got to be like. Can't uh, do anything there. Oh, there we go. Right, goes all the way around. Okay. Yeah, inside this mega structure has been nearly all continually these type of puzzles. Very few other ones. There's been, you know, a little bit. Oh, I can't even find my way to these pins. Okay, here we go. First one. Okay, at least one pin. Look at that. Chain's coming off. Oh, it's going to fall all the way through. Yeah, okay, so that's one down. I'm going to have to go all the way, all the way back now. Okay, so it looks like there's going to be another one up here. So another, another bridge puzzle to do. Nice. So let's make sure I'm not missing anything by just running from bridge to bridge. But I don't think there's anything else here. We're, oh, where are we going for this one? Up? Uh, uh, okay, this is interesting. Hmm. That doesn't look quite right. Oh. Uh, hold on. Right, where are we? We're trying to get up to there. Oh, this, I think, okay, so I think that if you look in the top left-hand corner there, the square piece, this piece is green. I wonder if that means that's one of the um, uh, gravity pieces. So if we uh, can get it flipped around somehow, we need to uh, move, ah, like this maybe. Now we can do that, yes, now we can do this, that's what we want. Where is... where are we trying to get to? I've only got one piece left and that's not connecting to anything so that's not right. Maybe we need to do that earlier. Uh, if I take this, if I do this now, yeah that's not going to work. So we definitely need... I think it has to be this, this piece. And then... that but then I, hmm. no I think I need to come out further let's go back I think what I need to do is uh, take not that piece so we go for like one of these pieces first like this one then that one then we can go maybe here now, where are we trying I can't see where we're trying to get to I can't actually walk on that though. So that isn't a gravity piece. Oh, I don't know then. I'm not entirely sure what I'm doing here. I can't see where I'm supposed to be getting. It's there. So I need to come out. So well, let's get all these pieces first. 
Oh, this that could be what we need. That could be it. Okay, let's swap those two around then. Um, so if we do this one. Oh, no, that's upside down. Oh, dear. This is tricky. It's not the, probably one of the more tricky ones I've uh, had to deal with here. Maybe we can go this way. Oh, this looks promising. That's promising. There we go. That's how we do it. Oh. And then we go back down this way. Okay, that was confusing. But we're done. All kind of maze-like structure. Oh, what, what do we have here? Oh, is that another puzzle? Another bridge puzzle that goes straight up. But where is that? Is that all there is though of this one? We'll obviously do that in a second. But let me just check this direction. First. Oh, that's just a drop down. May there may be something over there. Okay, well, let's do this puzzle first then. Okay, that was a nice, easy one. Well, not all like that. So, where do we go here? see this same picture over and over again. Okay, yes, we've, we've got there. Another bin. Okay, that's another one down. Let's go. Go back. So I am still confused about this mega structure because maybe I, I was sort of saying earlier about how Athena or whatever built this, but it was Pandora who changed Prometheus, and Pandora seems to be in control of the mega structure. So, mate, but but we still don't really know who or what Pandora is. So I think we're missing a major piece of the puzzle. Right, where we've got. Three more to go. How do we, how do we get there? We need to get over there. Oh wait, I was going to check. I was going to check the other direction, wasn't I? Uh, this way. Yeah, let's drop down here. Let's see if there's a uh, somewhere else to go around here. Okay, well there are some stairs. Is that just? Oh, that just takes us back here. Okay. No, all right, let's go back then. Okay, so there's another pin in this direction. Let's have a go at this one. Uh, this bridge is done. Do, or did we do this bridge already? And then, is, that, is this where we came up? No, no, I haven't been over this way. Who, did we do that one? I don't know, maybe we did. Oh, we went over, we did, and we went over that direction. So the other one is this direction. Okay, yeah, so we've got another puzzle here. Right, where are we going? Up to that point over there. So it's not going to be that. It's not going to be that. Okay, that has to be that one. I haven't got much choice in the matter. So we want to be able to get up, I imagine, here. We can get to here. Uh, where, but then where's the next... Where's the next piece got to go? Here. But we're... Okay, we're trying to get to over there. Well, that's not working though, is it? Uh, let's try... Oh, there we go. This one. Oh, there we are. I was about to get very confused then, but uh, yeah, we've got we've done it. Oh, more bridges. It'd be nice to have some different puzzles. I, I do... The bridge puzzles aren't my favourite type. I do prefer uh, the other sort that we do. 
I don't think that's gold though. There's only two pieces here. Uh, let's swap around then. There we go. Here we are. Another pin. Okay, so that's another arm. Another bit for the arm free. Right, okay, so we've got two more. Two more, let's go. Okay, so we've got two more over this side. So one more bridge puzzle. Perfect. That's nice, nice, nice and straightforward. Uh, okay, so we've got one over there. Uh, can we get? Yeah, let's go. Let's go to that one then. That's the closer one. goes around there doesn't it yeah nowhere else to go there oh, yeah, we're, uh, losing the um, sort of technological aspect of it it's become very kind of oh we can't oh hello oh, hi hi Yoku I don't think you can get up here 1k well, how did you get up I guess there I'll have to do a puzzle after all what you can do it, it? Can't be that hard right <laughs> don't it's not like everyone is depending on me don't hurt yourself go on Yoku you can do it I guess we'll uh, leave him to it then. We'll go find the other one. How do, well, how did you get up there? If you can, I'm sure I can. Okay, we'll move over to the other side. But if this has to connect over here, <laughs> then... Wait. If I do this, and then that... What? <laughs> he's, he's struggling. That's fine. You just gotta think about it a bit. Oh, nice. Wow. Well done. I feel really smart. Nice also, one. never doing that again. <laughs> oh, I feel for you, man. Proud of you. Is that where we just? Is that where we just came from? Where are we? We're trying to get over there. Where is the bridge to get over there? Looks like it's this, oh down there. How do we get down there? All right, there are some stairs going down. Okay, this one looks confusing. Right, okay. More anti-grav stuff. Um, okay, yeah, so all, these are all green, so I guess that means they're all kind of the, the gravity stuff, which is good, because otherwise we'd fall off. Huh, well that's not right. Okay, I think we're the right way up now. We have an elevator to take. And there it is. That's the last one. Prometheus is freed. So now we can go and pull the, um, the lever. I need to get back there. Okay, here we go. Coming back up to the lever to release Prometheus. What is this going to do? And uh, yeah, so uh, interesting. I thought there might be a choice. This game is big on choices. Um, it has a history of it. 
Uh, I thought maybe we would have had a choice whether to release him or not. Uh, but it doesn't look like we have. This is the only thing we can do. But obviously, if we're saving Byron, we have to release him. for breaking my chains. Too long has the flame been hidden by fear and mystery. It is time to put away these childish things and for you to know the truth of the Alpha and the Omega, of the beginning and the end. I will send you visions of the truth, but remember that prophecies are a heavy burden. What are we going to learn here, then? New Jerusalem sounds like such a beautiful place. So, how did you decide to leave? I know what we're trying to accomplish here, and I believe in it. But for you, New Jerusalem was home. What changed that? It took me a long time to realize that something was wrong. Oh, I'd noticed that something was off, that something had changed since the early days, but I couldn't really put my finger on it. So I ignored it. And then one day I woke up to realize I was no longer Athena. Instead, I had been transformed into the Founder, a remote figure of legend mythologized in my own time. But if it bothered you, couldn't you just talk to them? If you share the truth with someone, they should change their mind, shouldn't they? Oh, I wished it worked that way, Miranda. I really do. But I barely knew the last generations. In the beginning, I was there for every birth, I explained our history, talked about our future, but at, at some point I got so busy building that future that I lost touch. They thought of me as a remote figure because that's what I was. But can you change that? I tried, but they already saw me as the founder. The myth was too powerful, and it was already taking on a life of its own. I'd set a goal of 1,000 citizens. The number was arbitrary. Just a nice round number, nothing more, but just like I became the founder, it became the goal. Another part of the myth. And maybe that could have been alright. Myths are a part of who we are, but something else crept in. The old human self-hatred. So why didn't you just tell them to change? To go a different way? They would have listened to you. No, they would have obeyed me, like my siblings in the simulation had obeyed. And that's when I realized I had to leave. We can show them the future, Miranda. But we can't force them to accept it. Yeah, I, I've made that point many times as we've been learning about this history. It should become so much more than just another figure. We've got more, more visions. I have it. After all this time, I have it. I finally have it. The mechanics of the cosmos, from quarks to galactic filaments, everything that makes the world what it is make, makes us who we are in a single equation. The key to understanding the machine that is the universe and to controlling it. A theory of everything. And she was right. The language of creation is a melody and it's beautiful. Every future is possible now. Every future, except, except one with Miranda in it. I can do anything, except bring her back, or unbreak Cornelius's heart. Oh, that's very sad. Act four: Gates of Horn and Ivory. Byron was right. The founder was always a fiction. She's just a person. Yeah, a theory insane. of everything. She solved it. She solved the last puzzle. You need to get out of there. We'll talk about this later. 
Yeah, so we've been reading some of the, the logs of some of the citizens of New Jerusalem and some of them really to treat her like a mythological time, figure. We thought we were honoring Athena, but all we did was betray everything she believed in. She must have been so lonely. We might as well have exiled her. Maybe that's what all this is about. The puzzles, the towers, the entities. It's a test. A way for us to prove that we're worthy of her legacy. That's possible, but that also might possibly just be Finally, doing the same thing. Anti-gravity. Matter synthesis. Teleportation. It's not just one new technology. It's control over physics. Manipulating the base layer of reality itself. Rearranging the building blocks of the universe. If we can gain control of the megastructure, we can do anything we want. I'm not even talking about our energy problem. We can build anything we want. We can go anywhere we want. It's all up to us. That's what Athena wanted for us. To give us a chance to be who we want to be. Uh, that's obviously that's the flame that Pandora is talking about. It's Prometheus giving fire to humans. It's giving major step forward of, of control to to, the, to these people. Yeah, I can understand how dangerous that could is be. Is everyone okay? All good. I'm taking us back now. That's a relief. Meanwhile, there's been a development. Of course. You'll see when you land. Okay. How are things on your end? The energy fluctuations seem to be dying down. Looks like the system is coming out of lockdown. Good. Let's hope we don't regret this. And these energy clouds just fly about? That seems terribly dangerous. We haven't had any problems so far. Except for losing one of the first companions, of course. No, no, I don't blame you, Al. I know what he's like. And I'm the one who agreed to all this in the first place. That's why I had to see it for myself. It is dreadfully imposing, though, isn't it? Hard to believe the Founder would build something so... sinister. The Mayor's here? Well, this should be... interesting. <laughs> yeah, dear. Oh, God, the Mayor. Ah, 1K, welcome back. I'm sure you're surprised by my presence here. Don't worry, neither I nor my advisors will be getting in your way. Good. But I've decided that I need to see this place for myself. These visions sent to you by the entity that calls itself Prometheus are deeply concerning, of course. But we cannot take them at face value. In fact, it's crucial that we do not do so. We cannot simply abandon all that we believe because of a dream, no matter how vivid. Yeah, so this guy's obviously very much a follower of Athena's uh, as, the, uh, as the founder of the goal. So, yeah, but... No, if the founder really built all this, then it must have a purpose. It must be a test, designed to remind us of the trials that created us. But what is she trying to tell us? What are we being tested for? I believe that Byron's fate shows us the dangers of temptation. As Elohim attempted to deceive Athena in the simulation, commanding her not to ascend, so Prometheus is deceiving us with his visions. Uh, no, I don't agree with that one. I'm not sure I agree with your interpretation, Maya. Of course, it's only natural, given what you've experienced. And perhaps I'm wrong. Perhaps everything we believe about the Founder is indeed a lie. But let's not be quite so pessimistic just because of a dream, shall we? I think it's a dream, Maya. After all, can it really be a coincidence that you came along on this mission? 
It seems to me that you have been chosen. You are the fulfillment of the goal. Don't forget that. Yeah, I don't think that matters. I think it could have been anyone. Oh, all right. Well, we have one more area to go to, um, and I guess we'll do that in the in the next one. And we'll see, we'll see if we can unravel the story. We still need to get Byron back. Okay, but I'm going to leave it here for now. Thank you for watching. I hope you are as intrigued about this as I am. I really want to see how where this goes. It's incredible. It really is. Um, God, I love this game. Uh, <laughs> I will see you very, very soon. Goodbye.